Alright guys, well, welcome to some Metro Exodus. Um, I've been waiting so long for another Metro game. These games are just really cool. I love the post-apocalyptic games. They're just really cool to get into. But um, anyways, like always, this game is coming out at like 11, so I can't really talk or yell. Because, again, everyone's sleeping in, in the household, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Hey, hey, Duke, wait a minute. Where to now? Left, across the square. 
Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my snapshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artem. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. For a celebration. Artyom. Few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how you are the you nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? You just stop crowding him. Right. Well, I'm back, Artyom. Ah, uh, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! And? More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. There's also those damn things, calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. 
Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa <coughs> off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here for the monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go and turn here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. <laughs> <laughs> 